Hey everyone, Gems is flying high here and here today with a tech profile for my UA deck that I showed up recently. Um, I'm going to try to get to the gist of it and uh, show you what this deck is mainly about. Um, this deck is about the UA monsters which are basically ultimate athletes as they call it, but it's written into UA to defend the card. Uh, as a set of monsters that are warrior types right there, that are earth, that have various effects right there. About, along like, um, there's some monsters that can negate card effects by just calling card, like, um, can attack and basically your opponent can activate damage, stuff in the damage step right there, something to prevent monsters getting destroyed, uh, something to uh, summon more, something to uh, negate monsters, and then something to destroy and also do piercing damage. Um, this deck actually has a couple of production things too. Um, basically, the deck is evolving on these monsters that are high level monsters right there with a one um, low level for level four monster um, basically to like summon these monsters you have to return one face up your monster to your hand to special summon another one and it's uh, pretty good like that um, it does have a hand up with brick and everything but let, let, let me just explain what the uh, deck is about basically the main monster you need three of are midfielders because this is like the low the only level four monster in the deck and this is like needed right there to start off your axes and everything like that. Next we have a Dreadnought Dunker right there which is more of a... It allows you to do more damage overall with the thing right there because it has piercing damage and if it does damage you can destroy it on the field. This right there, a uh, Blockmaster can allow you to uh, prevent a monster from using an effect when it's summoned and also to change its like the attack position. If it's an attack right there, it goes to defense, or defense, it goes to attack and stuff like that. There's Rebounder right there, it allows you to summon another one. Like, another UA monster, if it's normal summon or special summon during your turn, or during your opponent's turn, but the special summoning has to be on your opponent's turn. A Goalkeeper right there, to this one prevents um, your know, UA monsters from getting destroyed by card effects right there, or battle. Uh, Mighty Sucker basically uh, allows you to attack, and your opponent can't activate any cards doing the damage step until after it and then UA perfect ace right there allows you to negate a discard a card during your opponent's turn right there to negate a activation of a card effects. Yeah it's uh, pretty good right there um, and then I have some other cards that I attacked uh, but first let's just go out the cards I have and I have three Gemini Garnets, one UA Drunker, uh, one Blockbacker, one Rebounder, one Goldkeeper, one Mighty Slugger, one Perfect Ace, and I have two Vormite Strict Clowns, I will get to that in a second, and three Mill Footers, uh, two Summoner Monks, two Max Seas, and a Glow Up Bulb. Uh, basically, uh, the reason why I have Trick Clowns in here and also the Gemini Goddess because of Gen Knight, uh, Gen, uh, Brilliant Fusion right there. This allows me to actually uh, get out uh, my UA's a lot faster because uh, since the have no way you can really special summon these monsters at all this allows you to tribute monsters by using by activating this right there sending this and then for my strict clown to the to, to the graveyard and special summon and generate stephanite that while it's facing for the field once during your turn right there you can add do another normal summoner set so this allows me to actually get stuff started with using that uh, yeah it's very good um, uh, basically, that, so that's why the Gemini Garner and then Trick comes in the deck. Um, some of the monk right there allows me to basically get a middle fielder faster like that. And uh, with Max here with this for draw power and then four bubbles for my synchros, which I have uh, seven synchros in here. And since it's uh, since a lot of my monsters are earth right there, I have a baselet, I have access to Natural Beast and Mercurion. And I then have other monsters too right there, as you can tell, which I will get to that shortly. Okay, then let's go for the spells. Staples. I have a Wagaki, obviously. Uniforces Abbey, Soul Charge, and a Foolish Burial for my staple trap, uh, staple ones. Then I have three Signing Deals. Then I have three Brilliant Fusions. And then two Power Jerseys. Uh, two, uh, three Stadiums for my spells. And then for my traps, I have one Van Ace Evanus, two Penalty Box, two Sound Notice, and one Sound Warning. And then for my extra deck, I have two Serpentines, one Omega, one like, Cleveland Synchro Dragon, 
uh, one Black Rose Dragon, one Zelta, one Bakurion, one Red Raven, and one Natural Beast. And for level for my SYZs, I have Utopia of the Lightning, uh, Bokarius, Uto uh, Uto uh, Utopia, Sky Gazelle, or Abyss Dweller, and Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. And for Astro decks, for my side deck, I mean, I have a couple of monsters, a couple of cards right there. But I haven't figured out all the amount of cards I have this right there. So you take this with a grain of salt right there. You can obviously probably have better cards in here. I have a very different, different Benson, Powered, I not Powered, actually, Bottomless, Two Period Iron Walls, uh, Lightning Prison Mirror, mirror another Penalty Box, Show Drain, a Saddle Prison Mirror, and then another Sound Nose. Okay, um. As you can tell, there's a couple of cool cards right there. Uh, the main thing for some of these cards that you need three of uh, is Siding Nails. This right here, if you don't have a mill filter or not a monster in your hand to actually get out, use this right there to pay, I believe, 300 life points per level to get up, bring out a really monster return. And this allows you to actually get a mill filter like that. So you can actually start your place a lot faster. Um, Stadium right there. If you have normal summon a uh, Yuri monster, you can add you can add a Yuri monster for your deck to your hand right there. Or if you're supposed to summon a Yuri monster during your turn, you, once per turn you can have all your monsters get a final attack. Power Jersey is a card that you can equip to a Yuri monster. It gains a thousand attack and defense, and any battle damage it does to your opponent right there is doubled. Um, but and and also it makes a second attack in the battle phase and destroys a monster. Uh, but if this card is if I still equipped to a Yuri monster during your standby phase, it gets banished. But it has secondary effect is also that if this card is sent to the graveyard because of a Yuri monster returning to your hand right there, you can add this card back to your hand. Yeah, so it's definitely like those are some of the good cards you need right there. This right here is a three of that's a three of right there. This you only need really two of right there. It's not Super important. This is basically like a, a what like a one of the wind condensing cards right there because if you have this card, and then freaking Dunker right there, and uh, spell and you also have it got the effect boost from that, and he and your monster or your opponent only has two thousand of defense right there and no other monsters. You can one shot him by having this, that, and then that attack boost right there, and he's dead. And then uh, yeah, so. Definitely very good. Um, okay, Yuri Pounding Box right there is also a very good card right there. It may get a little bit of a monster for two for like two turns. To uh, so if they attack right there or you attack, it's a very good card just because of that. So uh, so you can get rid of a monster for two turns, everything like that. Uh, yeah, but as you can tell, it's a pretty good thing. It does have its problems right there because of you having a lot of high level monsters in your thing. I have seven here. You will most likely get dead hands. That's because that's how it is. But with my uh, the tech of Brilliant Fusion right there, the uh, Shining Deal, uh, Trick Clown, and everything like that, and also Summoner Monk, you can overwrite that by, uh, by, by doing one of those techs right there. So. As you can tell, it's a pretty good deck, but you, the main thing is it's going to brick very hard, and if they also get rid of your middle fitter or get rid of your newer monsters, you might be screwed. But you have to deal with it. That's the only thing. Okay, let's show off some hands real quick that I can get. So, Suffle. Okay, Maxi, Boy Fusion, Summoner Mark, Middle Fitter, and a Perfect Ace. Pretty okay hand. Um, definitely what you probably should do is, like, Summon Middle Fitter, Fusion, have, have that right there, and yeah. Okay. okay, and and there's also a um, pretty other good things right there. See, uh, this right hand here, mm, probably not a good hand at all. Basically, I uh, don't can really do is that, some that, bring with it. Right yeah, it's that one's not a good hand, I think. But uh, let's check. Ooh, this is actually a pretty nice hand. That's because you got Saving Deal and Stadium, you got a Smugger. It's this is actually a pretty good. Yeah, right here. I actually would like this guy a lot. Okay, let's go show off one more hand. Signing deal. Goodness. Uh, a pretty okay hand right there because, yeah. Pretty okay hand. Um, as you can tell right there, it's a pretty uh, good deck, but you have to be very careful with doing that because this thing 
you have to not overstand a bit because if this has this has it, I think if if it gets blown up with that, it has a really hard time recovering too. So that's when you have to be very careful on your plays, and you have to be very very, very careful on no, uh, you know some enormous things like that, so this one right there, and also um some mirror forces and everything like that. But hopefully this shows off how the deck is, and hopefully it will be something you might want to play in the future. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day, and good time watching.